Well, howdy everybody out there in YouTube land. This is Amateur Artist Mark D. Channel once again from Man Land. And we got a bunch of stuff to talk about. Well, a cook set in particular. Not all of it, but it's all included in the video. A little long, so I, I need to hurry up. Camping mugs. Got a little description on the box there. Just camping mugs, stainless steel. That's what the box is. That's the front. There's a size that says, side that says it's material, 304 stainless steel, capacity 1 liter. Color, of course, is silver, and naturally it's made in China. Here's the back of the box, almost exactly the same as the front. Side is repeating the same thing. There's actually no markings on here to tell you what the name or product name of this kit is, but comes in this little mesh bag and uh, drawstring and all that stuff is not too bad not super high quality <clears throat> and here we go it all knits together which is nice the thing says it's a one liter capacity and we're going to test that out here in a minute uh, there's a lid this is a very well made lid this thing is solid it is bomb proof i think you can run over that pretty much with a truck tire and probably won't hurt it here's the the inner capacity the cavity rather Kind of reminds me of the Stanley Adventure Camp Cook set, and it kind of does look like look like it, don't it? Yeah, the handle on Stanley, of course, folds. Y'all know how it works. Well, I, I brought them all out just to compare them, but bug, mugging not too bad. And I did discover <laughs> that these handles do interlock. These butterfly type of handles, they do interlock, and I'm used to them. So I don't really have any complaints about that. And let me get this uh, back this way. There we go, one way in there. These handles are removable, which I found out. If you want to be able to stuff it in something tighter than the stuff bag that comes with it, rather. And these handles pretty much stay where they're at to a certain extent. I mean, you can bend them. But uh, I actually cooked with this thing last night. Cooked me some uh, speckled butter beans and maybe some cornbread and man, yeah, oh yeah, some pork chops, oh yeah. And uh, here's the similar version here of the uh, camp cup, as we like to normally call it. That's a very nice capacity. I don't know what capacity the cup itself is, but it is a lot larger than you know the stainless steel Walmart brand. Uh, usually it uh, used to be Ozark Trail and then they changed their name to something else and something, but it's practically the same cup. Of course, this one here has been used very well. <laughs> but the cup sizes are definitely different. And this right here is larger than the cup, of course. This one is way larger than the cup. Here's the interesting thing. If I had the handles off, it would actually nest inside of it in the cup. Will it fit inside the pot? Uh, if the handles were off, it would. But no, they don't. So, uh, uh, uh. ah, the lid. Ah, very important. The lid. Fits the cook pot. It does a very nice job. It's not a tight fit. It does snap on, which I like. D-ring, I like this stainless steel D-ring, but it don't stand up. It just don't do it. It won't do it. I might be able to fix that by... Squeezing it together, making it tight, I don't know, but I, I, no, 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 but that's no big deal. I know how to work with that. Uh, but will the lid fit on the cup? The answer is kind of, <laughs> kind of, sort of. It does not actually snap into the cup. It just kind of sits there just well enough to keep bugs off of it. You know, drink a cup of coffee and you got bugs flying around, but I throw Throw that lid on there and continue to drink your coffee or whatever, but it does fit the pot. Uh, it comes with a foldable stainless steel spork, and I kind of like this thing except the fact that the handle sometimes pops out when you're not paying attention, and you lock it forward, and then it stays in place. And not a bad little sport there. I like that. I'm, I, I'm getting a nice little collection of these type of foldable stainless steel utensils. And uh, kind of interesting, I, man. I, hmm, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Anything that's a gadget to give me, I just kind of like. 
and it's all stored and packed in there. But anyway, nothing, something else I'm going to talk about. Uh, the famous Stanley, and this is part of my uh, collab nesting deal here. The Path Pathfinder Cup and the Stanley. Stanley does nest in there, and then the, the Walmart Cup. It pretty much does nest in there, and it all fits inside a Camelback. And where's my Camelback? This Camelback right here. It, it, it's it's a snug fit, but it does all fit inside of it. Anyway, I'm not going to break down and talk about this kit here as per se. What I wanted to do was to bring my cups out and talk about this lid. Here is the Stanley lid. Boy, it's hot and humid out here today. Good grief. Stanley lid. Famous green tab. All right. We know that the Stanley fits. Eh, man. Y'all give me this a second. We all know that a Stanley lid fits the Stanley cup. Okay. That's a no-brainer. We know that this lid will also fit the Pathfinder cup. And it's a little loose, but it snaps. It, it, covers the, it covers the whole pot. Not a bad deal. Then your Walmart cup, which I'm going to refer to as the Ozark trail. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's what this main brand was. But anyway, the lid does fit it. And by that, thus, by that being that, the Pathfinder lid, which, of course, does have a nice D-ring on it, this is the Ozark Trail Cup. Of course, it's going to fit its own pot. It does. And it also fits the standard. Okay. Well, what does this lid fit? It sits on top of the Ozark Trail. Pathfinder, it doesn't fit. And of course, the Stanley. It does not fit the Stanley. Thus, meaning that the Ozark, uh, that uh, the, the Pathfinder lid does not fit this DZVR, the, the, the Dizzy Cup. It just it fits right inside of it. Same thing with the Stanley. It just falls inside. However, there is an inner ring inside there. And I discovered that if you go just like that, and we'll turn it sideways so you can see it, it stops right there. So it fits inside the cup. It don't fit on top. <laughs> Same thing with the Stanley, I believe, here. See here? Same thing. It goes inside that lip, and that's as, that's as far as it goes. What about the cup? Well, what about the cup? Let's see. That's not the cup. This is the cup. It kind of sits on the cup just a bit, but it's kind of like what do you call a, uh, a like a manhole cover. It's gonna, it's gonna sit there. It does go in there, and of course the Pathfinder is the same kind of way. Uh, the lids just ain't compatible with this thing. Let's just say that. Let's just put it that way, and let's move on. One thing about the Stanley, we know how rigid the steel is. Uh, you you can smush it if you really push hard enough, which I'm not going to. That rolled lip there and the thicker stainless steel, this is pretty much bomb proof as they say. Um, Pathfinder, mm, yep, same way. It's tough. It's tough. The uh, This cup here, the, the kit I'm trying to show you, It's pretty tough too, but it does have a little more flex in the stainless, just a bit. I think it's because it's a thinner stainless steel. I'm not sure. Could be the fact it's wider. But they claim this holds one liter of water, and there are no graduation marks on it anywhere, not in the inside or anything. I've already checked. Don't worry. I look. Hello, you in there? No, ain't. There ain't no writing on the wall. The show sure ain't. There's nothing in here. You just, unless you know what you're doing. You got a pre-measure, or if you're like me, you don't care. You just pour liquid in there and do, do your cooking. Ah, 
but I do want to try the size because a lot of times these companies make claims that uh, say this is a one liter pot well is it one liter up to here here or all the way to the I mean the actual top which nobody really cooks that way and I don't encourage nobody to do so so I've got my other Stanley this is the, the two person I think two person cook kit or something like that got the little taller bowls in it but it does have graduation marks and it says right there max fill well that line right there is a thousand milliliters so I'm gonna run inside right quick fill it up to that measurement and pour it into here and see what it does I'll be right back I got it filled I got it filled it to the one milliliter line and I'm hoping the countertop in the kitchen is level because <laughs> I don't know, and uh, that's another thing here. I'm hoping these lines are absolutely correct. And here we go. Let's find out what this thing holds. Oh, still got a wee bit more in here. over the side of is over filler maybe is that tension tension's got it down get the hair off my finger yeah it's water tension but that's why you don't want to try to cook with something like this I mean come on now what this means is that this cup holds the capacity of one liter so I'll give it that but to actually do any decent cooking if you're going to boil water or something like that, you may want to come up to this indention right here. That's probably, uh, what, about 750, perhaps? Let me see if there's a 750 in this thing. Hold on, we're going to do another test. Now I'm set up. I've got 750 milliliters in here. And if I don't spill too much of it. And it comes up just above this right here. It's right about, uh, of course, the table itself may not be so called level, but I'm going to call that 750. So that's basically what this right here is, is a 750 milliliter a true cooking pot capacity. Yeah, the capacity on actual cooking. It does come up above the line there. Like I said, the little picnic table out here may not exactly be level, but you know, we're going to do what we can do. But now I'm really curious as to what this cup will hold. Let me pour it into here. Let's see what 750 does to this. Uh, so that's a 750. <laughs> to the lip, to the lip, to the rim. There it is, man. So if you pour water into the cup, as far as measuring, and you hold it steady, you can put it back in the pot, and uh, except the fact that I spilled half of it, which is a little closer to the actual line there. So, yeah. The cook pot, the the reservoir pot, whatever it's called, the 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 the, the dizzier, the 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 it's usable, it works. I, I don't have any complaints about it. I really don't, except the fact that the lid, one thing, the D-ring don't stay up. That's kind of aggravating. And the, but that's the fact that it don't actually fit the actual mug. Now it sounded like it snapped, but it didn't. It's raised on that side. It'll cover it, it'll keep the bugs out. Of course, it is vented. But, heh. <laughs> Anyway, I bought this thing because, uh, let me zoom back out here. I, I bought this thing because, well, hey, hey, I bought this thing because I had to add something else to another order I had from Amazon. You know, I had to get up that $25 free shipping thing, so it was cheap, so I got it. Well, there you go. Until next time, this is Amateur Artist Mark D. Chandler once again from Manland. Wishing you all a very happy YouTube experience out there, and remember this. <laughs> Be careful when you pour your water. Right now it's cold, and that's a good thing.